Looks like it could be good news for the Custodies, and specifically the Sisters of Silence, as it looks like Games Workshop is soon to release a whole load of new models for them. Perhaps the biggest question though, is whether or not they'll make the jump into 40k. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Custodies releases, and it seems that Games Workshop might be in the process of fleshing out the other talent of the Emperor, the Sisters of Silence, into a more complete and functional army in its own right. Currently the representation for the Sisters of Silence in 40k is only just one kit that you can build three different options from, plus use the Sergeant as an HQ choice, so really any extra expansion on the range will be very much appreciated from Custodies players I'm sure. Currently in 40k at least, the Custodies range is really quite small, there's only a very short list of kits that are actually available for the faction, the Custodian Guard, Wardens, Terminators, the Jet Bikes, and then a few special characters and the Sisters of Silence, plus a couple of borrowed kits from the main Space Marine range, such as the Contemptor, the Land Raider, and the Rhino. The army is kind of heavily dependent on Forge World options, so certainly anything else in plastic would very much help them out. I must admit, as Forge World support goes, the Custodies do have a better time of it than most armies. I think whoever wrote the Custodies part of the Imperial Armour book did quite well. The Forge World options do add a whole load of extra threats to the Custodies, things like Battle Tanks and other Dreadnought Marks. I feel like they've done okay to make them worthwhile but not mandatory. Though admittedly, it maybe does feel like you're playing with half an army list if you do restrict yourself to the Games Workshop Codex. I feel like any expansion on the range will be kind of appreciated by Custodius players, and it does look like the Sisters of Silence might be getting a range expansion in the very near future. The reason that we know that this is going to happen is that Games Workshop is bringing out a new Horus Heresy book, and this one's going to be giving out new rules to all the units in the Horus Heresy that don't make up the Space Marine Legions. Forces of the Emperor, like the Adeptus Custodius and the Solar Auxilia, Assassins, and also, most importantly, the Sisters of Silence. What's happened is currently the contents pages have been leaked out of that book, though currently at time of recording the majority of the contents still aren't widely known, and perhaps the biggest surprise out of the contents at least is that the Sisters of Silence army section is a lot bigger than many people might have expected it to be. Out of this fairly extensive list, only a few of those are actual models that exist already, and it does imply that Games Workshop are going to release individual models for each one of these, though admittedly a fair few of them might either be war gear swaps or maybe just character upgrades and alternate builds. In general, these Horus Heresy compendiums are written to reflect the range that will be coming out shortly. I think there were a fair amount of Space Marine models and War Gear options that didn't actually have options when the compendiums dropped, and then Games Workshop has gone on to release kits to represent those exact bits. There were things like the amount of choices available to Predator tanks, and Games Workshop has written these books very much with their model range in mind. Obviously it's pretty great news for Horus Heresy players if they did want to lead a host of the Sisters of Silence into battle, it looks like they're going to be a far more complete army than they were, but I feel like really quite a lot of people are going to be interested as to whether or not the range is going to make the jump into 40k as well, as the amount of new units that are here really could be quite a sizable increase in the Custodius roster. I'm genuinely a little bit uncertain as to whether or not they will and what form it might take. The Custodius have the vast majority of their Heresy era range in 40k, all of their Forge World stuff is pretty much represented in the current edition, but the few unique Sisters of Silence models that are for Heresy and not 40k, they haven't made the leap across yet. For example, they've got a Charon Pattern Acquisitor, a transporting gunship that's been a thing for Heresy, but hasn't had any 40k rules released. I do feel like these are perhaps going to be really interesting releases to keep an eye on, particularly if some of them wind up being part of the Plastic Horus Heresy range, and I feel there's a much higher chance of them making the jump across to 40k. Say, for example, like the recent Space Marine Kratos tank, it does feel like it would be in Games Workshop's interest to allow them to be used in 40k as well, if that is the case. As with the Custodies options that were primarily aimed at Horus Heresy, I feel like they'd have the easy chance to appeal to two different audiences and game systems and make both of them happy. In general, given the Horus Heresy releases so far, I think there is at least a fairly high chance that a good chunk of it is going to be resin. I'd certainly be guessing that the majority of the characters will probably be resin ones as opposed to plastic, unfortunately but there do appear to be really quite a lot of individual squads listed here as well, which could either be resin upgrade kits, or potentially if we're very lucky, maybe a plastic release. I'll be interested to hear what your guys' thoughts are though, down in the comments below on the likelihood of that. Just to go through this list in detail quickly though, first up we have Janita Kroll, an existing special character aimed at Horus Heresy, not at all likely to get 40k rules as a special character from a long time ago. There's then a Knight Centura and the Knight Abyssal, they at least sound like they might be equivalent of the Knight Centura that already has a datasheet in Codex Adeptus Custodes. Not sure how the Knight Abyssal might fit into that. 
Perhaps it might be in a captain and lieutenant style arrangement. I do know that it's a rank that's already been mentioned previously in the law. Otherwise, another couple of things that sound like HQ choices are the Silent Judge and the Silent Fury. I guess they're all pretty silent as Sisters of Silence. I guess they could potentially fulfil other HQ roles. The Silent Fury at least sounds like it could be a combat character. Maybe the equivalent of a champion miniature, maybe. The Silent Judge, I noticed, already has some lore. But basically, they're the ones that assess psychers and weighs them up, deciding on whether to take them as a tithe or execute them as a danger to the Imperium. Will be interesting to see how they fit in in the military organisation, though. Otherwise, though, besides the HQ units, I think it's kind of interesting that there's so many different carders of Sisters of Silence mentioned here. Currently in 40k, there's only really the three equivalents of Sisters of Silence, the Vigilators with the Great Blades, the Witch Seekers with the Flamers, and the Prosecutors with the Bolt Guns. On this list, though, there's a pretty mighty 11 different carders mentioned. Presumably, I'd guess most of them just represent Sisters of Silence with different war gear loadouts. Knowing Forge World, there's always the possibility it could just represent some resin upgrade kits and things, I believe there's already one for the Heresy Era Prosecutors, which get you two bolt pistols. Kind of interesting that the Heresy Prosecutors appear to have the bolt pistols, where the 40k ones have the bolt guns. Otherwise though, I feel it's pretty likely that the Great Blades and the Flamers will make it in there somewhere, but there could be anything else on the rest of them, anything from jump packs, heavy weapons, or potentially other pistols or close combat weapons. I believe that there were a few different cards of Sisters of Silence that previously had rules or lore. So that might be some scope for more models coming out for them. Apparently the Pursuer Carder feels things like Cyber Mastiffs to hunt down heretics. The Questora Carder might be a new name for the Excruciatus Carder that has state crossbows or charnable sabers. There's a Raptora Carder that kind of sounds like it could be something fast moving. But also Genetia Kroll had a guard called the Raptor Guard so it might represent something like them. And then even on top of that we've got Eradicators, Firebrands, Subjugators, Sanctioners and Expurgators or at least fairly likely to have different weapons, or at least different special rules. I feel like if they're going with quite this many releases, it'd be kind of cool if they did actually release some individual models for them, as opposed to just upgrade kits for the same plastic sisters, but I guess we'll wait and see on that front. Otherwise, besides those, there's also a Night Vestal Covenant mentioned. I guess that sounds like it could be an elite infantry choice, even within a fairly elite order. Maybe might not be too different to the Carders, but it's kind of interesting that they have a different name and don't call themselves a Carder. And then, as mentioned earlier, there's this Caron Pattern Acquisitor, apparently described as a mysterious floating paramilitary vehicle that can be equipped with some heavy firepower if they do need to do some frontline lifting. A very scary looking little black ship to take you away to the Astronomicon, I'm sure. Again, it seems perfectly reasonable that that one might be able to get 40k rules as well. It's not like the rest of the Custodius relics from 30k haven't. Overall, it does feel like there's a fair bit of potential for actually making the Sisters of Silence line into a bit more balanced versus the Custodes. Currently, of the talons of the Emperor, it feels very Custodes heavy, and the Sisters of Silence feel like an afterthought. It would be kind of interesting if you could run them a bit more as a standalone army, as opposed to just a few units souped into a bigger list. Let me know your thoughts, though. Obviously, it's quite early days for these. We don't know what the units are armed with, or if they will make any sort of transition to 40k, but I'll be interested to hear your ideas as to whether or not you think that's likely. Feel free to correct me on anything that I've missed or got wrong as well. I'll admit I've done a fair amount of googling for this video. I'll admit I'm not quite as familiar with the Sisters of Silence in Horus Heresy compared with most 40k armies. In any case, if you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to keep up with Games Workshop's news releases and army rules, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics. I certainly try and keep the 40k content coming. I tend to post new videos most days. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that one linked down in the video description if you're interested. The channel's Patreon is what allows me to keep on making videos like this quite so regularly, so if you are enjoying a lot, then any support is enormously appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early each week, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening and I'll hope to see you guys next time.